Alright, hey everybody, this will be the first tutorial about how to use the Scratch program. Uh, it's a wonderful program that will give you plenty of fun and enjoyment out of it, and I hope to teach you a little bit about how to use it. So, as you can see, I'm here at the Scratch homepage. <clears throat> Um, and the first thing you're going to need to do is to sign in if you have an account or just to join Scratch if you do not. If you do not, it's very simple to sign up um, and you can figure it out, but I do and I'm going to sign in. Now once we get in here, we uh, Scratch gives us a variety of options, um, but what we are going to do because we are going to make something today is that we are going to press the create button. And this will bring us to our general layout, which allows us to make a variety of projects here in Scratch. Now, when you first look at it, it seems a bit overwhelming, but once you start to kind of get into it and understand what everything does, it becomes much simpler and you start to see what you can do with it. So the main character here in Scratch is this guy right here. <clears throat> I believe his name is Scratchy. And he is what's called a sprite. You can see it says sprite down here, and this is sprite one. These, and uh, this will be the character to our animation or our game or whatever we are making. We can control him over here. If you see this area, this is the scripts area, and this controls what he does and how he does it. So here we have motion, which control how he moves and looks, how he looks. Uh, the sound, the different sounds that he makes, he could draw with a pen. Uh, data is something you probably want to wait till later to understand. Uh, this controls when things happen. This controls um, just waiting and looping things. And this controls um, if he's touching something and um, a bunch of other things. And there's some math right here. But today we're typic we are just going to focus on most of the motion where you're going to get him to move around and so what we will do right now is we're just going to get a quick background here so right now this background is just pure white there's nothing there but if we were to click over here on stage we'll be brought over to this area and we click over here on backdrops the backdrop is the area that is seen behind them. It's the background. You can choose as many as you want, but for now we're just going to choose one to illustrate a point. So I'm going to choose a backdrop from the library right here. And there's all these interesting backgrounds, but I'm going to go down to this one way on the bottom. So, oops, here. so this is our XY grid. And this controls all the motion that we can do here in Scratch. <coughs> in Scratch, how he moves is controlled based on an X and Y axis. So for example, this would be X100, this would be X200, this would be X-100, and this would be X-200. Okay, So left to right, horizontal is X. The higher the number, the further right it is, the lower the number the further left it is. Up and down is controlled by the y-axis. So this would be y100, y200, y-100, and y-200. And if you tell Scratchy to go to an x point and a y point, he will go to that. So for example, if you wanted him to go here, you would just write x100 and y100. So let's take a look at how we can do that. We want to go over here to the scripts area. And right now we're in motion, which is what we want him to do. So there's all these different commands here. Um, but what we're going to do, we're just going to go down to this one. And it says go to x0 and y0. And we can control if you change the x, say so x100 and y100 like we had before, and you were to click on it, he will go up there. Now what Scratch does that is very nice is that if you move Scratchy to a certain area, they will change the X and Y points so that you just have to drag it out. So if I wanted him to go up here, see they automatically change it to X134 and Y17. 
So I'm going to draw just a little square with Scratchy. So I'm going to have him go up here, and then I'm going to have him go down here, and this will change, and I'm going to drag this out right here, and then I'm going to bring him over here. I'm going to drag it out. And finally, I'm going to bring him up here and drag this out. So now, as I press each one of these, it will cause Scratchy to go to the spot where uh, um, he was when I dragged it out. So if I go here, he will go right there, then down to there, then over to there, and finally up to here. And now the, you can see there's a kind of like puzzle pieces. And if you were to snap them together, they will all go in unison. However, if we just press this right here, we don't see anything happen. And that's because this is all happening instantaneously. So what we need to do is we need to bring out this little thing called wait. So if we have a little wait, one second is too long, but if we have him wait 0.1 second in between each of these commands, we will start to see how he moves. So let's bring, whoops. Let's bring out 0.1. And what you could do to make things easier is just if you right click and press duplicate, it will go like that. So right click, duplicate. And we're just gonna snap these right in between here, snap it right in between, and snap it right in between. And now you should be able to see Scratchy move around like so, perfect. And if you were to keep on pressing it, you can just see him go around forever and forever but we don't want to keep on pressing it. So what we can do to make him go around without having to make us keep on doing this is we just take this little forever block right here. And if you snap it on like that, all you have to do is press forever and he will go around forever like that. You can press stop sign and he will stop. Now in Scratch, the way to start most of these games is with this little green flag up here. And what we want to do is for him to do something when we press the green flag. So what we have to do is we have to go up to events and we need to get this when green flag is clicked and we just snap it on right there. And now if we press the green flag, he will just go around forever like that until we press the little stop button. Okay, so that's great. But now we wanna see evidence of where he's been. So we're gonna go with this little pen thing and this will cause Scratchy to draw. So you have pen down, pen up. We wanna make sure that the pen is down so that we can see where he's going. And we want to set the pen to a certain size. So go down here to set pen size. Make sure it's not at change pen size. A lot of people make that mistake when they first do this. But uh, you wanna set pen size or else it'll keep on getting bigger and bigger. And go in here and change it to 10. So we pet set, set pen size, or we put the pen down, we set it to 10. And we're gonna put these inside the forever loop. We want each time he does this, we want this to clear. And finally, we wanna set the pen color to something. So right now it's on brown. If I were to click on this and then go all over, all right, if I were to go on, this will change the color. So whatever the mouse is over will cause the color to change. So let's say I want him to be, I want the pen color to be um, let's do green. Now that I click it, it will set the pen color to green. So now when I click this green flag, the pen will go down, it will set it to 10. Then forever, each time we'll do this, it will clear, it will set the pen color to green, and we'll go to all the spots while waiting in between. Let's see if this works. There we go. It is a slightly off kilter square. So now that I see that's a little off kilter, I can reassess what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop him, and I can see that he's a little off. So I'm going to take it out like this. I'm going to fix my spray. I'm going to get rid of this because it does not work properly, and I'm going to have it go down here, and hopefully that will work properly. So I'm going to go back to motion, and I'm going to go here, and I'm, all I'm going to do is just put it right back in, and that should work. So let's see if that, and that works a little better. Still not perfect, but it works well enough. So going to X and Y is one way you can make Scratchy move. However, if you want him to do it a little more smoothly and make it look like he's walking, what you could do is you could do the glide feature. And the glide works exactly the same as the move. 
if you bring them up to a spot. All right. He will, the, the glide block will change. So now I'm gonna bring it out here. I don't need to do the weight in between because the glide takes a certain amount of time. You can see glide one second to X10 and Y170. That's a bit too long. So I'm gonna do 0.5. Now I want him to glide down to here. And so I'm gonna move him down there and then press the glide right there and put it in 0.5. And now this should make it look like a little house. There we go. And let's give the, let's make it, oops. And once he's over here, I want him to come back over here and glide one more time. So it gives our roof a little foundation there. Let's try this one more time. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Go. Okay, and that is just a simple way of making things on Scratch. If we, you could do a lot of different stuff with this now. Um, if you want to change the pen, so say you want to change it to red with only the roof being red, you could just put the color to red right there, and as it goes through this code, it will do everything in green. But then when it gets down to here to the glide part, it will switch it over to red and then it will cause the, the latter part to go in red right there. Okay, and finally, because this background, while illustrative and helpful and informative, it is a bit bland and boring. If you want to change the background, you can go over to stage, click on backdrops, and you can get a new one from the library and let's have him scratchy build a house on Malibu. He can be a real estate developer and that is a beautiful house that I'm sure anyone would want in Malibu. And that pretty much does it. So now if you want, you could play around with different shapes, different backgrounds. Um, you could try to see if you could do anything different there, but I hope that is a good introduction to Scratch programming and there will be many other projects to follow. So once you've done this, you can go on to tutorial number two, will you, which will be more complex and you will learn how to do a lot more stuff. But thank you for watching this and have a good one. Bye.